Hello, folks. Well, I did it. My first HA LRGB image. And it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I mean, there's a lot of fine tuning, but merging all the data together wasn't really that hard. Now, uh, I'll show you how I merged it in a moment, but let me show you all of the data um, that I had to work with here. In all, I had um, 27 hours of data for M82, 18 hours of HA to get that starburst center, six hours of CLS data, and one hour each of RGB. And that is what my HA looks like. Not too bad. Uh, that's, that's basically what I wanted, that starburst center, which is kind of difficult to get if you're only using LRGB. I'm, is it even possible? I'm not really sure. Um, this is my red data. Pretty clean. Eh, not too bad anyway. Blue, kind of the same thing. Green, eh, kind of the same thing. That's all right. It's good enough to work with. And my CLS data I thought was disastrous. The same thing that happened with my, um, what was that galaxy I just worked on? The Needle Galaxy. I had that ring going on and I thought, oh no, th th this data is disastrous. I, um, I'm not, doing like I said in the other video, I'm not doing going through this process again. It could be that this CLS filter was just dirty, but from now on I'm going to do what I, I, I do with the other ones. I'm going to use the actual loom filter with the two inch CLS filter in front of it like I did with RGB. Although I heard uh, that can really take away from your from your colors, but you know what? In a white zone, like I said, even worse than a red zone, um, I have no choice. It is what it is. So that's that. And let me show you. This was the RGB data combined. Not too bad. Pretty smooth. And once I threw in the CLS data to it. Ha! That's what it looked like. The galaxy looks uh, a little more bright. Um, it's less noisy. But of course, this noise and probably reflection data from light pollution came along with that CLS data. But, oh well, I, I'm thinking, am I going to need to recapture this the, the luminance data uh, and get it to dump the CLS data? I, I, I just, I'm just going to move forward and see how this turns out. So, um, what I did to combine now the, the HA into this RGB CLS data is I went into script and I tried, there's probably pixel math, which is uh, a lot of people would probably use that, but I tried to see if any of these utilities and scripts could do it for me. I tried NB RGB combination and I absolutely hated the results this thing produced, so see you later, alligator. I'm not using that one again. But what I did do was this other script, um, HARVB AIP, just like the SHO AIP I use. Now I'm using HARVB. I think RVB is probably a different language for RGB, but I'm not sure on that. So I, I, I did that. I clicked on that. Um, I put HA in this first one right there, and I put my, um, where is it? It's probably that one. My um, RGB CLS data in that slot, and I tried different percentages, and uh, I noticed the defaults here were the, were the way to go. So I just left that. I clicked OK, and it, it processed. It takes a while here to go, but um, I'll just show you what it produced. This is what it produced. Um, it, uh, it wasn't that bad. Even my little ring around here, that, that noise data well, was kind of mostly gone for the most part. So merging that HA really did clean up the background as well. And that's what it looks like. My HA, I'm getting that starburst center. So I was actually really impressed with that script. It, like I said, it wasn't as hard as I thought. And, and one thing is um, I probably could have cleaned up this data a lot more before I even ran the utility. But it's it's really weird because 
the more I cleaned up the data, it seemed uh, the weaker the Starburst Center got. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to leave this disaster-looking AG RGB data the way it is and, and just go with it, you know? And that's what it produced. And after my final processing, uh, that's what I came up with. I spent a, lime, a lot of time looking online and trying to match others that I've seen for the colors, but uh, really, I, I, I didn't, you know, I got rid of that. SCNR will help you get rid of the, the green background. I, I denoised the background, made it a little darker, and I just really, um, I didn't replace any color. I just made this starburst area more red. And the cyan a little bit. I tried to make it more cyan bluish a little. But in the end, um, that's what it looks like. Uh, I even made up my, my desktop background. I can live with that. I think it'll look pretty cool on a metal a metal print. Um, hmm. I think I'm good. I think it's okay. For my, my first attempt at doing HA LRGB, I can't complain. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm, and I, I'm glad this one is done with. I actually have... No other projects I'm working on, so it's going to be nice. I can start fresh on whatever I want now. I'll see you guys later.